am Rose Ellen May and I am a private pilot. Oh, I think that it's pretty exciting to fly airplanes because you get to get up and go into the air. I mean, very few people, especially women, actually are pilots, and I think it's been pretty exciting to do that. I have about 350 hours of flight time so far, and this is my airplane. My favorite part of being a pilot is the excitement of actually flying the plane. So um, I enjoy the whole process from beginning to end, from navigation to in planning my flight, to getting up in the air and maybe even practicing some stalls and then coming back on the ground. The plane flies when air, from lift, right? So air flies over and under the wing to create lift. And so when you stall, the plane doesn't have that air moving over the wing anymore. And so um, you're essentially floating in the air for a few seconds. What I think is exciting about Amelia Earhart is that she knew that there were some big barriers that she had to overcome, but she did it. She was one of the first female pilots to to fly. She's a big hero of mine. Amelia Earhart was a pilot when aviation was brand new. It had only been around for less than 40 years at that point, and so technology was just very simple. She had little more to go on than a chart, which it looks like a map, and a compass to help guide her. She was able to use those these charts and plot her way across the country. And then one day she decided that she was going to fly around the whole world. And so that, that led to um, some pretty interesting flights for her. Fast forward another 50 years, we have lots of new technology available. Um, one of the things that was a hindrance for her was that they weren't able to fly in bad weather because they had to always be able to see the ground. Now some of the things that we have today includes weather on our GPS and this looks a lot like the GPS that your parents might use when you're traveling in your car. We also have weather and travel GPS type services built in for our airplanes and our cell phones. And then we also do similar flight planning using our computers. So those these resources that we have available make our flights a lot more safe and a lot more fun because we don't get lost quite as often as they would have back when Amelia was flying. So when children want to experience flight for themselves, the Experimental Aircraft Association has a program called the Young Eagles and they can go to their local airport, including right here in DeKalb, to get a free flight. And so we can find out more information about the Young Eagles program and the free to introductory flight at youngeagles.org. When you're interested in aviation, you should learn about science, like weather. Weather plays a big component when you're flying airplanes. Technology, like I said, the GPS, our computers, even our paper maps, and we need to learn how to use those resources to be good pilots, to be safe pilots. We also need to know about engineering, so when they create aerodynamic aircraft, and mathematics. And mathematics actually plays a big component in how we, how we plan for our flights. And so yes, science, technology, engineering, and math all play a big part, even to make a simple trip across the field.